Hello everybody, so today we're going to go through three of our family traditions, or the major ones anyway. So that's the food, the movies, and the decorating. So the food, I'm going to start with that. The very first thing that I always like to have when I celebrate anything, or change of the season or anything, is Martinelli's Sparkling Apple Cider. It's something my dad did when we were young, because they would have the alcohol and we couldn't, so we got apple cider. So I'm going to put this up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's very, very good, and I love, like, the bubbles, so, <laughs> you know. Uh, this is just stuck with me. I really love apple anything, so this next one's not going to be surprising either. Celestial Seasonings Caramel Apple Dream. Oh my gosh, this tea is amazing. If you've never had it, I suggest you get it. Let me see, I'm going to put this up here so you guys can sort of see the packaging. I don't know if the same packaging it will be this year, but I'm, I'm looking out for it. And it even has this great Edgar Allan Poe quote on the back which says, Those who dream by day are cognizant of many things which escape those who dream only by night. And I love Edgar Allan Poe, so that was just like a plus for me. So there's that. And then also Royal da Dansk? Royal Dansk? Danish Butter Cookies and Walker's Pure Butter Shortbread Cookies. Those, I love those, and I'll have a picture somewhere over here. So, I love those because it reminds me of when we used to live in Germany, and Germany Christmas is a whole different thing than it is here. There's, there's snow, there's decorations everywhere, it's wonderful. And then the last thing that I just absolutely have to have for this season is the Hillshire Farm Summer Sausage, and then I'd like to do a cracker cheese plate with that. And it doesn't have to be like a pre-made one. What we usually do is go get Ritz crackers, the Hillshire Farm, uh, summer sausage, and then some sharp cheese or some Colby cheese, and then we just cut it up ourselves or we find like uh, the sliced stuff. And we put it together and we watch one of the movies I'm about to talk about, or we just sit around and reminisce, you know, we just have some fun, have a good conversation. So the movies, I typically have five, and I know that sounds like a lot, but <laughs> they just seem to be something we did a lot. So the first one is something that is a new tradition for me. We had it when I was a kid, but then we left, it, it fell away, and then it came back when I got married, because it's my husband's favorite, and that's a Charlie Brown Christmas. Like, a lot of people love this, he definitely does, and I like it too, so that's definitely one that we watch. Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe is something that is a tradition just for me. I love that movie. It has lots of good messages and it's a great reminder for how you're supposed to do the rest of the year. The third one, A Muppet Christmas Carol. Again, good messages. It's a fun movie. It's a beautiful movie. I don't think you, if you've never seen it, you should definitely go watch it this year. The Shop Around the Corner is not a traditional Christmas movie, but it is one of my favorites because of how it's basically the original of You've Got Mail, when the two people hate each other in person, but they're writing to each other, and they, they fall in love through the writing. So, and it's set, you know, in Christmas time when everybody's going through there, they're having their sales and all this stuff, and it reminds you that communication is important and that it matters. So. It's a, it's a good lesson for that, that kind of thing. Not to judge people just by the one way that you see them. Try and talk to them, you know. And then I also enjoy watching just home movies, like from stuff we've done from the year before, things like that. I really enjoy that. And now to the decorating. I don't do much decorating. I am not a decorating kind of person where you just go all out and do everything. I do little pieces of decoration where the table will be decorated. We have this tree that his grandmother gave him, this little tree that you light and it spins. So we'll get some batteries and put that in there. And you know, that's about it. We don't do too much decorating. To me, the decorating has lots of meaning. So I've got the red ribbon. Oh, here, I'll just show you. So here we have the red ribbon. We have, you know, the leaves on the table, the, the, um, the candles are always there, 
So it's just the little tray has little tea lights and little rocks and then it also has little little things in there that are good reminders of what we used to do or what we've done before in the past. So it's cool, it's like a memory thing. And then, you know, at the end we have like our salt, our pepper, our cinnamon, things like that that we use for our food. So anyways, guys, that's my Christmas traditions. What are yours? Let me know down in the comments or hey, tag your it. Let me know your Christmas traditions in a video response. Until next time, fellow travelers, I will see you in my next video.